Thank you.
Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I like that we start on a Toby on. Perfect. Um, how are you doing this morning? Happy Friday, I guess. Um, twist ordering pizza for the third time this week. Uh, that's admirable. I wish, um, wish I had some pizza right now. Sounds good. Oh no, off the nose, Toby. Now you gotta get up. Ugh, the worst. Um, I was just telling Janelle, just making sure that she saw that uh, Richard Schiff, the actor who played Toby on the West Wing, saw the tweet that uh, I tweeted about Toby yesterday. Janelle's harping in the background that, that she's the only one that told told me to do that meme in the first place. But <laughs> let's not get into who told who to do what. <laughs> <laughs> All your best tweets. Workshop by me. Um, <laughs> uh, he doesn't follow me on Twitter, so Katie and I tagged him. But uh, that's like the second time that he's responded to a Toby thing, and it makes me really happy. Um, he must just troll Twitter. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, uh, I built this secret thing for Cure, and, um, it seems like Cure's not gonna be able to play Minecraft for a while, so I'm just gonna, like, walk through it, um, but first order of business is, uh, I'm finishing the observatory, um, I had a fairly uh boring thing to sit through last night for an hour and a half uh and then plus extra time and so i started doing this um here <clears throat> it's actually a lot easier than i thought it was going to be because um uh the um that uh plotting uh website i don't even know what to call it <clears throat> um is there a way in, Cord? You gotta kind of like there. There isn't a uh, a stairway yet. So I I for, well I guess first of all I moved the lighthouse um, to to this location, um, and uh, I think it's I think it works really well. And then I'm turning it into an observatory. <laughs> That's Janelle sneezing in the background. Um, so. Yeah, I'm 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 pretty happy with this spot. I think it's um, I think it's gonna work pretty well. Um, and uh, yeah, man, that um, that that website that just gives you a uh, floor by floor like here's where you place the blocks thing is making this go super speedy. Um, it uh, I'll I'll relink it again if anybody's interested, but it has like multiple different like. Minecraft uh, sort of templates that you can that you can use and then you can what you can do is you there's like a slider on the right and you can tick it up one by one and it will just show you like each level of block that you need to place um, on that uh, on that level it's really nice um, here I will link it in chat actually uh, um, you can build a giant snowman, apparently. Anyway, um, but yeah, what's cool about it is that you can do it just floor by floor. It'll show you exactly what blocks to place, which makes this go really fast. Um, but uh, yeah, so working on that. I'm glad AJ is delighted by it, Aqua. Um, thank AJ for uh, doing the hard part. <laughs> I'm really glad that we were able to turn it into, uh, you know, a functioning piece of the town. Um, I think it uh, it actually looks really cool on that on that uh, hill there. I think, anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, now there's just an unobstructed view straight through here. Oh, there's also kind of a funny here. Let me grab some food. Um, I gotta put some food in the Taco Bell every time I come by here. I realize I don't have any food, and I need tacos. Um, uh, 
Where's that kelp? I need that kelp. There we go. Oh, right, Sunless, you've got all that food in the chests and stuff. I, uh... Oh, wait, I guess the chests are gone, though, are they? Oh, no, they're still there, okay. I could have just grabbed something there, but that's fine. Anyway. I told uh, Potato that I wouldn't stream anything interesting for the first 15 minutes. Um, I, I can't promise that, because I think I think already the, the observatory moving is interesting. But uh, I'm not going to show off my secret thing yet, so we're going to find something else to look at. Um, the town needs a Mothman? Uh, I think that should be up to Twist. I think Twist should have to build a Mothman. Like, in the forest over here, or something, you know? Um, so now there's just this big crater <laughs> where I did the copy-paste, um, because the observatory doesn't need a basement. Um, and, uh, and it's got kind of like a, a cool, spooky cave system. Um, if anybody wants to uh, do something with this and or just, like, pave it over. Um, but uh, it's a ready-made something right here. Um, oh god, I'm trapped down here, I just realized. <laughs> Mini Thunderdome. Um, yeah. Bear in mind though, whoever, whoever does something in this area, um, you will be, uh, you know, right in line of the casino view. So, um, oh my god, oh shoot. Oh man, it's it's happening. Oh my god, hold on. Ah, uh, no, I can't spell. Oh, see, this is this is what you want. Oh my goodness, I missed. I think I missed. I think the sun's already down. Down. Damn. I think it does just kind of. I think it. Oh, I missed it. I think it does set right in this tunnel. Like, I think it goes straight down the tunnel. <laughs> you know, you can just set time. That's true. Uh, I don't know what the time is for sunset, though. I think it's like 22,000 or something. Oh, I don't know what that did. There's, there's like a number that's associated with, uh, maybe it's 2200? Mmm. This doesn't look like sunset to me. I don't know. <laughs> what number is sunset? Minecraft number sunset time. Uh oh wait, here we go. It's twelve thousand, okay. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Oh, you know, it's a little bit off to the left. A little bit off to the left, but uh, still pretty good. There's a time set sunset? What? No, there isn't. Oh, does it move? It moves a little bit. Okay, it actually, it actually kind of goes like this in this direction, so it ends up... Oh wait, I guess the sun's already down. Anyway, whatever. Uh, it's still pretty cool. Um, archaeological site of interest? That's fine with me. I have no plans to touch it, so if nobody else does anything with it, then that's what it will remain to be. Um, can I say somebody build a fake sunset right in front of the real one? I mean, that's kind of what I ended up doing with the sign. <laughs> so, I have yet to get a screenshot with the sunset and the sunset sign in it. Um, anyway, uh, has anybody been working on anything that I should take a peek at? Um, I feel like I need to look at some stuff um, before, uh, before I do my secret thing. We just built a boat restaurant. Where is your boat restaurant? Um, hey, Ugly Woods, I'm glad you're, I'm saving your boring Friday office time. Uh, I just noticed um, 
By the way, I think this has been here a long time. Oh, okay, Sunlust. All right. Maybe it hasn't then. I just noticed this, which somebody built. This might have been a Lakey project. Um, but uh, this is a really cool little uh, restaurant that they put by the, um, by the canal. Yeah, I don't know how long this has been here. I don't think long. Um, but I really like the uh, living roof. <laughs> At least I assume that's what that's meant to be. Um, and, uh, oh no, I, I'm drowning. Um, and, um, yeah, it's just it's just really nice. It kind of, um, maybe this was like, I don't, yeah, I don't know who did this. I'm just, I'm saying Lakey because it's next to the Lakey Tower, but who knows. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's really, it's really nice. And it, it's just nice to see something built with wood that, um, you know, is fresh. Uh, it's so hard to, in my experience anyway, to make wood look interesting and good in this game. But the, um, these stripped logs really work as like a highlight. Um, it's, uh, it's very nice. Also, just like the separation here. Like these little um, sort of glass columns work really well. Um, but it reminds me of the Lakey Tower windows here, which is why I think it might be just a Lakey, a Lakey joint. All right, let's go look at Cords Boat Restaurant near the island chain. Okay. How are you all doing? I put something on the calendar that says mystery stream. That I wasn't intending to be um, <laughs> like, uh, oh, I've got something really cool planned. Um, it's just more that uh, Janelle's going to be doing like a virtual happy hour this afternoon. So I know I'm going to have two hours where I'll probably just do something. Um, I mean, I, maybe I'll stream Jurassic Park. I don't know. But uh, maybe I'll also just play StarCraft or something stupid. But who knows? Or we could do <laughs> Dark Souls 3 in first person with guns. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so the boat restaurant. Oh, that looks like it's the boat restaurant. Oh, no, I fell down the hole again. Um, I tried to work in Unity this morning and all my particle effects now have a 50 millisecond CPU frame time and I'm very grouchy. Why would particle effects hammer the CPU? Who knows it's Unity. <laughs> uh, it's been three years or so since I've had to deal with particles in Unity problem machines, so you're on your own. But I definitely remember them being a pain. Um, look at this boat. I really like the uh, the roof. The uh, I don't, awning? What do you call it? What do you call it on a boat when there's like an awning? I gotta get off this thing. Oh god. Oh, look at this. Oh man. Oh, you did it. You did it. You did the glass bottom. Oh, this is so much better than what I was trying to do on my, my houseboat. Um, with the blue, uh, the blue lanterns too. That's really cool. Canopy, thank you, Nidrin. Um, oh yeah, this is really this is really nice. Oh, and you got a lot of like kelp and stuff in view too, which looks really cool uh, with the uh, the light coming down there. Wait, is that a? Oh, that's a boat. It's like is that a turtle? Oh, cool. No, it's a boat. Presumably, though, fish and stuff will you know, swim by, right?
coughing a lot this morning. Bad allergy day. Oh, it's Kevin. Um, Potato said, if you want to see my thing, grab some bone meal from the bone zone. It's inside the hill behind my kelp farm. Okay. okay. Oh, the, I know, I know what the thing you're talking about, Potato. Maybe we'll end on that, um, because my thing is, is not really, um, what I want to end on anyway. One of my favorite things on the server is Kord's fishing hut in the Northwest. Did I ever see that? The fishing hut. Oh, I think I, I think I did see that at some point. Maybe not though. What is it? Is it near town or is it like way off? It was made very early. Yeah, I kind of remember it. It's 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 like hard to. Uh... Boats got worse. Okay, yeah, boats. That that did seem like it was worse. Um. <clears throat> I really like this um, this restaurant boat cord. Um, I bet it looks really good at night. Actually, let's see. Oh yeah, it does. It looks really good at night. Um, I'm gonna steal this uh, like two different levels of lanterns thing that you've got going on here. Um, it looks really cool from a distance. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the uh, the best time for this. Observatory is like pretty big, but it's not, it's not, uh, well, it's pretty big. <laughs> it's, it's pretty damn big. It's like a big part of the skyline now. It's just kind of cool. I like it. I think it, uh, it looks really. Ah, God, the boats are terrible now. Sorry, Cord. I'll, I will go back today. Wait, what did, what did Twist say? Oh, Mothman is done. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I was like looking for Twist Comet in chat, and then I realized uh, they're actually in um, in Minecraft chat. Uh... <laughs> yeah, the um, the sliding doors are cool. I, I had a thought, like, I wonder if you could actually make. The sliding observatory door here uh, functional, and then I just uh, gave up before I ended my own life um, because that would just take way too much effort. Um, you'd have to have like several tiers of inset sticky pistons. It's just too much. Um, But, yeah, I think it looks good. All right. Um, where's your Mothman uh, twist? You need some time making an adjustment? All right, well, maybe I'll do my secret thing, and then, um, and then uh, we'll come back to that. The woods by the casino. Okay, yeah. I'll, well, I'll I'll come back to it. Shoot, to do my secret thing, I need a button that I don't have on me. Um, I need to make a button. Let's go make a button. How do you make buttons again? Oh wait, I can just make a wood button. All right, that's fine. It's gonna need to be a stone button, but um, <clears throat> we'll just use a wooden button for now. Um, so this is this is uh, here. If you're watching this vod, stop watching the vod at this point. And um, I'm going to just run through what I've done. And uh, I have a feeling things are going to break. So it's probably good to do this 
before I uh, put Cure through this on a stream eventually. Um, but, uh, oh, I also need to turn on the audio. Speaking of which, um, if you need an audio um, track added to your building, uh, let me know in the next week and a half because um, we definitely want as much of that as possible before um, before the uh, walkthrough. Okay. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I, um, this has been a project that's like, I've been working on this on and off for quite a while now, actually. Um, the first piece of it was actually the, the start of it, and then, uh, which has existed for a while, people have noticed that the tomb for Nick Brecken was uh, somewhat more ostentatious than it was. Uh, that is completely intentional. Um, I'm going to basically write uh, some copy that will send Cure to this position in a very Cure way. Um, I'm really glad that people are uh, adding, adding um, add sounds and stuff to this. Uh, really good. Um, Maybe we should expand the the graveyard a bit. Like, should we bump it out to like here? Maybe it feels like it could be bigger. I feel like it would be cool if it was bigger. Um, anyway, so uh, first step to this is getting here to here, um, and uh, and then there's going to be a stone button here, which will be part of the instruction. Um, and then this is what happens when you press the button. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. And so, Kira is then dropped into a Zelda dungeon uh, that I've been making for like, uh, I don't know, probably a week now. Um, so, the thing that I tried to do with the Zelda dungeon, one, is kind of um, keep all the rooms the same size in the way that... Uh, <laughs> the Zelda, Zelda rooms were, um, and uh, but also I did a lot of item chaining. So here I'll show you. Um, I'll just go in the steps in which um, Cure might. So like he might come this way, and you know find that. Oh look, I can't uh, I can't get past this right now. I'm gonna have him come with no items. This is this requires no items in your inventory. Um, so the correct item chain here, and I'll just reset my my uh, my respawn. Um, and uh, so the correct item chain here is to start by um, going through this zone. I think I might spawn a few enemies for this room, uh, like skeletons and things. Um, but uh, so you grab the bomb. Which is uh, TNT and flint and steel. Um, hopefully Kira notices the, uh, fairly obvious bomb point here. Um, bomb the wall. <laughs> it's just kind of insane. And then you're in the, like, classic Zelda, you know, guy standing, like, wizard guy standing in front of the, the thing. Uh, you take your redstone torch, which is your item pick up from here. Um, oh my god, the wall actually got way more exploded than I thought it was going to, but it didn't, it didn't disrupt anything that you need here. It did blow the wall out, but that's okay. Um, in this room, I might have to kill these torches to make this more obvious, but you're supposed to notice, like a Zelda puzzle, that there's a torch here, here, and here, so then you want to place a torch here which then lowers this block and allows you to grab this chest.
Oh, is it back? It seems like it's back. Okay, I think I think we're back. What the hell is happening? Why is why are there pistons firing? There should not be pistons firing. Uh, anyway, uh, are, are we back? I guess we're back. So anyway, so I, I have I have my torch here. Come over to this spot. Cure should notice this uh, this very obvious piston here, um, where you would want to push the block. Try to think of a way that you could like actually push the block, uh, you know, in the way that you have to in, in Zelda, where you would like push this out of the way and then clear the, uh, the stairway in the middle. Um, so if you went down here though early, what you would find is, uh, oh, I didn't seal this up yet, but um, what you would find is this little uh, target. So um, Cure won't have a bow right now. So this should hopefully clue Cure into the fact that Cure needs to go find the bow first. Um, so, um, this room, you walk into, um, and the door shuts behind you, uh, and you're trapped in here, but, um, what you find is a bow and arrows. I'm gonna give him a better bow than this, but, um, this is just here for these purposes. Now, you've got a classic, um, uh, sort of Zelda order puzzle. Um, this was really hard to do. Uh, but, um, you have to shoot these in the correct order in order to open the door again. Um, I'm actually going to turn the music down here, uh, when I'm following him around. So I'm going to turn it down here as well. Um, so, for instance, if you try middle, right, left, it's not going to work. Um, if you try, however, left, right, middle, not gonna work. It's right, left, middle. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh shit! It didn't work. Uh oh. Wait, what's the correct order? Is it middle, right? Is it? Wait, what's happening in chat? What's going on? Why is everyone distracted? Oh, oh, thank you, Twist. Cheers. Oh, and thank you, Cord. Um. <laughs> Uh, wait, it's left, right, middle, no, right, left, middle, uh-oh, I think I might have broken something. This is, this is good that I'm testing this now. I wonder if it's something to do with the speed of how fast I'm doing this. Well, anyway, let's take a look at what I've done. <clears throat> this should work. I don't know what's going on here. You don't have to get bullseyes, so I think what's happening is... Oh, you know what? Ah, uh, okay, so <clears throat> it's just because I kind of got off in terms of where I was. Um, the reset is not obvious. I need to add like maybe a note block, like a dun dun, when you don't get it. I think I need to do that. So now it's like fully reset. I, it's like it's like when you're punching in a, a number pad thing, but it, you don't know when the, the reset's happening. So you're like one off the whole time. Anyway, I think it's right, left, center. Yes! Okay, so all I have to do there is add a reset sound and that'll, that'll fix that because um, uh, uh, I just didn't know when it was resetting. Um, so uh, yeah, really happy with that. So then now we've got the bow and we can come down to the basement. Um, this, I'll probably come up with a more elegant way to start this, but essentially um, this starts a rotating thing. There's going to have to be some kind of written down kind of riddle or puzzle or something related to this. But essentially, um, <clears throat> what's going on here is you want to shoot the target when it's in the bottom left corner. Um, that's the puzzle here. If you shoot it anywhere else, it doesn't work. 
So I'm gonna have to put some kind of puzzle or something related to that in here, like hidden in here. Um, but uh, yeah, so bottom left, and you get the chest. Um, that should have also triggered the uh, da -da 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 -da, but I'm not sure why it didn't. I'll have to test that as well. Um, stop it. Um, okay, so here you get the boss key. And um, this is just from testing, I shouldn't have those. Um, so here I get a boss key. The boss key allows you to go over here to the, uh, this is like classic Zelda, like final room, you know, that you need the, uh, the big key for, I guess I should just call it big key. Anyway, uh, you can put the, uh, the big key, um, or wait, it's, yeah, it's the boss key. I shouldn't have this master key on me. Um, oh wait, no. Oh, I think it is the master. Oh no, sorry, it's the master key. The boss key is the one you get from the boss room. Oh, now I fucked it up. <laughs> I had the testing key on me for the other thing, and uh, I I, I, missed, I mixed them up. Oh man. Well, now I'll just go down and show you guys what this is. Um, uh oh, wait, where's my? I don't I don't have like staff rooms for this. Okay, here we go. Um, shoot. All right. Oh, it was boss key. Oh wait. Oh, it didn't go on. Oh, I must have screwed something up. Oh, what happened? Um, that's still off. Huh. Oh, that should be... That should be working. I wonder why that's not working. Oops. Hold on, let's... Um... Let's just test this. Oh, it's probably be, well, I don't know. Here, let's, let's just do this. I never know how to just put one thing in a slot. For some reason, it's like mystifying to me. How to just take one thing out of a stack. Um, so when I put the key in here, it should, open the damn door but it's not it was working yesterday oh uh well no that's fine i wonder if i screwed something up because there's some other redstone pretty close by um oh you know what um i think that might have been placed to Let's try something. Um, oh, I don't have any redstone on me. Uh, I think I've got redstone in here, yeah. Ah, okay. I, th you know what it is? I think I actually, um, I think I actually blew up part of this uh, when I was building this other redstone stuff. And then in replacing it, I forgot that you have to have this come down and then shunt directly into this block as opposed to, um, as opposed to uh, the way that it was there. Um, so yeah, so this should work as long as, here, let's, let's go up and try it now. This is good beta testing. Um, put the boss key in and the boss key door opens. Okay, there we go. Now this room, I am not going to uh, demo, um, but uh, there's gonna be a big sort of boss finale here. Uh, essentially, um, Ford collected all the ingredients for a wither boss for me. And um, what you can do is, um, I don't have enough soul sand on me right now, but you can build every part of the wither boss except for the top, the middle head, and then by stepping on these plates, it will actually complete the boss and then create it here. Um, and, uh, and so then upon killing the boss, you're gonna get another key that will open this door, and then um, there's, a, there's like a Triforce room uh, in there with a chest with what cure gets for uh, completing this. Anyway, whatever. So that's just... Uh, generally 
the gist of it. Couple couple kinks to work out. Clearly, I'm glad I walked through it before Kira did um, uh, on the stream because I need to fix some things. But um, yeah, that's my uh, my dumb little Zelda Zelda thing. Um, I'm most happy with those note blocks. <laughs> It's a, it was actually really hard uh, to um, uh, to do all that wiring in such a compact place. Um, I don't know, maybe I can show you guys what the uh, what the what the um, behind the scenes here looks like. Yeah. So, whoops. So this is the um, arrow puzzle, which I had to just kind of figure out on my own. This was not. Um, was not something I got from a tutorial, uh, and uh, so the blocks kind of move in this area, and then um, if it's in this spot, it, it hits this redstone and then uh, travels down to here, um, and then should hit this note block. Oh, you know what's going on? Okay, that's why it didn't trigger a second time. It's because once once the um, once that one puzzle is on, it just this redstone just stays on. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to turn that off after a second. Um, I guess it, you know, uh, just throwing a uh, repeater in would actually probably, eh, that might not solve it. Anyway, that's it's just stuck on. That's why. Anyway, <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's it's a lot to fit into all this uh, to to this tiny little space. I mean, this this part here is is the other room, and so it's just like everything's just like really packed in. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Um. That's my uh, that's my little uh, thing for cure. There is a secret ending that I'm not gonna show you all. We'll leave that be a surprise for uh, when cure finally um. Finally uh, runs through it. I'm, I was actually really surprised. Um, I I just kind of started making it without knowing whether I was going to bust into somebody's basement, and uh, somehow it all just fits neatly under the town uh, without having run into anything. Um, okay, so now we gotta go find the Mothman. My, the only like bummer about it um, is that um, <laughs> that um, the note blocks don't aren't super audible over the dungeon music, and I, there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. So, oh well. Um, oh, was Cure? Here? I don't think Cure was here, Aqua. So I don't know that we need to tell him to come back. But, um... Oh, he was? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, you can tell Kira you can come back down. Um, okay, so the, by the casino, we're looking for a Mothman. There's Cord. Cord's, like, fixing the, uh... <laughs> this massive dirt pile. Um... Oh, there's Twist. Wait, where's the Mothman? <laughs> I'm missing him. Where's the wait? Point, point me, point me right at the Mothman. Oh, oh my God! It's so dark. It's hard to see. I, I think it should be more like sunset or like dusk or something. Wait, your twist move. I can't. I can't see because of the shader. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's the Mothman. All right. <laughs> well, this tree needs to go. It's too hard to see him with the tree there. Although, I guess if the tree goes, then he's just going to be, like, really sticking out. <laughs> oh, that's funny.
Um. <laughs> Any more trees to come up the eyesore that is the uh what's wrong with the observatory hill? It's great. It's I mean it's only an eyesore from the from the back uh cord. And nobody nobody looks at it from over there except for you. Um anyway, very good Mothman twist. Very good hasty Mothman. That was actually uh very uh It was like a speed build. Um, <clears throat> uh, potato, um, I, uh, I will see your, your, uh, flower thing, or I can see your factory thing, uh, which, which would you prefer? I think the flower thing is going to take a while, right? So it's up to you. What is Mothman? Asked Kevin. Um, Oh, they're the same thing. Okay, well, where's the... How do I... Um, isn't it down uh, down one of the rail lines, Potato? Or But you wanted me to grab something first? I can't remember. You're going to have to give me some instructions. Um, oh, bone meal from the bone zone. Right. I'm going to get some chicken or something first because I'm, I don't have enough food. Whoops. <clears throat> okay. Underwater hill behind the kelp farm. Got it. Well, my secret thing is almost done. I need to, uh, I guess, finish the observatory, and then I want to look into a fireworks show, plus maybe doing some things like adding a floor to Octosco's building, um, some little stuff like that. So, okay, so where's the bone? The bone meal is where? But in the underwater hill behind the kelp farm. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, the underwater. I don't know where that is, Potato. Oh, God, I hate water. I hate water so much. Oh, I'm so slow. The N64, okay. Where? <laughs> when I don't come here from uh, the the thing, I always get lost from the rail line. Oh, I guess it's over here. Like barely see something, maybe. Wow, look at that skill. <laughs> look at that reflection. That's absolutely wild. Um. Oh boy, I'm so lost. Where am I? Oh, I'm like way over here. Yeah, what, I, I feel like the underwater zone needs something above water that's like a marker that shows you where it is. Can I walk through this? Okay, yeah, I can. Um, is it over here? Oh, go to the islands? Oh, okay. I should have just taken the subway. It's the only way I ever find this place. Oh, 
Underwater zone is below the islands? Really? Ah, for some reason I remember it being over here. I don't know. Is this the uh, elevator? I guess it is, okay. Oh jeez. Oh god, it's so dark. Wait. Uh, right, okay, this way. First of all, don't start. Second of all, it's very easy to light things underwater. Look at these. These are perfectly lighting this area. If there were just more of those, it wouldn't be a problem. Why would you? Well, because it looks better when things are lit in a video game. Um, all right. Uh... I don't know where this farm starts or ends. Where am I supposed to go for the in this? Where's the bone thing? Oh god, these fucking! Oh, I hate the water. <laughs> so I'm at the kelp farm. Where's the bone zone? I don't know. Oh, I'm just gonna kick both of you from chat. <laughs> Can't deal with the shader thing every day. Um. Where, uh, where do I go, Potato? I don't know where to go. Potato's giving up on me. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure where the bone zone is. Ow. Hill directly west? I don't know which... This is north, so this is this way? There's like so much kelp. Yes, please do, Aqua. This... is this it? Oh, creepy. Oh my god, it's actually just completely pitch black. <clears throat> it just needs a couple torches to light it, that's all. I mean, this is the thing is, like, you can light this stuff, it just needs to be actually lit. I feel like Kira's never played a video game. You put lights in games. Um, alright, let's see. Uh, so I need bone blocks or what? Like... Bone meal? Yeah, Kira, you're right. Full, fully bright uh, scenes in Unity look great. If you just turn on full bright, that's what all games should look like. Um, you're absolutely correct about that. You win the argument. Um, okay. So now where do I go, Potato?
the pink line all the way to the end, okay. I don't use that power enough. <laughs> uh, all right, where's the... Um... Redeemer, you're not an oddball. You're, you're absolutely correct. And the thing that people need to do is just light their scenes in the way that you would light a level. The, there are areas of that underwater uh, zone that have lights on them and it's perfectly visible. Anyway, all right, so pink line. Um, I guess I'll take this to the subway station and then um, I'll just uh, go from there. Or is this the pink line? I don't remember. This is the red line. Okay, so I gotta go to Old Town and then, and then shunt it. Um, Whoa! Uh, that's not good. What happened there? Did somebody build some stuff here? Yeah, that can't be there. Why is this here? What? Oh, there's. it's like a roof on the canal. Yeah, that can't exist though. Um, okay, so pink line all the way to the end. All right. Is there a way? I thought there was a way to spawn. I guess, I guess there just isn't one on, on this line for some reason. Huh. That was weird. Ugh, now people are complaining about the, the subway? What? <laughs> It's Friday morning, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> the mayor's just gonna uh, go sit in his office alone. way um potato at this point although actually there isn't a oh there is a button right there um i don't actually know which way to go towards truman okay What's that? I don't know if I've ever noticed that. Ooh, 
Is that new? I like that farm is new. Oh. Yeah, some of this uh, rail is a little bit wonky. Oh, I think those pumpkins are new on the uh, treehouse. <laughs> this cube is so good. Oh man. It's really, really strong. I think um, Cyberpaul did that, uh, Sunlust, unless I'm mistaken. Or was it nuclear? I can't remember. One of the two. Uh, does that mean I should turn my sound down, Potato? Oh, thanks, Gord. I guess that's why I wasn't dispensing a cart, huh? Whoa! I guess that's the end of the line. Um. <clears throat> Hello, neighbor. Potato. Uh, okay. Is it, like, up here, maybe? That isn't my building. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. There's a sign here to stop pointing you. Uh, is there, though? Oh. Flower factory, okay. I think we're probably going to want it to be daytime. Behind me. Whoops. Uh, oh! Potato's Flower Factory. Put bone meal in, turn on, caution loud. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, there's some in here anyway, but okay, we'll put some in. And then this says put bone meal in as well. There's a little in there, though. I think this will be fine. Um, turn seeds and unwanted flowers into bone meal. Okay. All right, I'll turn the audio down a bit. Um, all right. Whoa. Wow, this is a lot of pistons. Oh, my God. Wait, I, I saw a flower drop over here, and then it went, it went away. You go upstairs to see what's happening? Okay. Oh, wow. So the, it's the bone mills just being placed by the dispensers, and then the entire floor is shifting such that the flowers get uh, trimmed. <laughs> that is really wacky. Oh, I see. The, 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 <laughs> these pistons are just pushing all of this. Le okay, they're just bouncing it between each other. Wow. <laughs> you can just stand here and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, uh, move. Um,. I thought I saw a screenshot of like a big field potato that you had uh, like a, a thousand flowers or something, but um, 
So is this like a timer, this item hopper? Yeah, so you're timing the pistons using this hopper. And then the uh, pulse goes up here for the pistons. That's actually pretty simple, but uh, it works. How does the um, uh, collection work? So this is... This is how they're... Oh no, that's that's the bone meal. So the bone meal is getting shot up through there, but then the collection... Oh, collection does not work. Oh, so I should be grabbing all of these if I'm... if I'm. Oh, you have to pick it up. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't have any inventory space. <laughs> uh, oh wow, there's so many flowers. Um... Uh, I don't need this wand. Wow, this is actually, yeah, this is a very high number of flowers. Uh, let's see, let these seeds. Put them all into organic waste? <laughs> Wait, so you, you, oh, I, I, you, so you're farming flowers to turn them back into bones? Oh, you mean the, you mean the wheat seeds or whatever. Yeah, okay. Um... Bring back yellow flowers for uh, our workshop? Okay. I, well, I assume all flowers are useful for the fire workshop, right? I mean, aren't, aren't all... Uh, well, I guess not all flowers turn into uh, dye, right? Yeah, I should turn this off. I feel like I should collect all this stuff. Um, Damn, I always have too much in my inventory. Uh, mine cards and who needs diamonds? Uh, I don't need flint. All right. Oops. Ah, like go around here and then. Wow, oh, this is so much. Oh, I thought I was going to pick up seeds, but I don't have any. Different flowers spawn in different coordinates of this biome, so I have to have different buildings around the place, each generating different colors. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Oh, wait, I don't have to go down there. I can just do this. Okay. I've collected everything that was there. Um, oh, I've got baked, but I had baked potatoes on me the whole time. So do you have other flower factories around here, uh, Potato, or is that uh, that's the only one you have completed so far? That's a really cool idea, though. So wait, yeah, I don't know how... Um, can you make most of the dyes with flowers, or do you have to... Uh, are some of them only um, other things? What applications do flowers have outside of dye? It must just be dye, right? It's got to be mostly dye. Oh, right, green is cactus. I forgot about that. Yeah, I remember having to get green dye early on when I was doing something. Um, but most of them must must uh, 
Oh shoot, I threw out my mine card. <laughs> uh, also, my respawn, I think, is in the Zelda dungeon, so that doesn't help. I'll leave some potatoes for potato. Well, I mean, it's good that we're farming dye because we're gonna need a good amount for fireworks, I would assume, right? Um, I didn't check on the fireworks shop, but uh, if I can contribute to that at all, um, I would like to because I think I wanna set up a cool fireworks show. You got plenty of gunpowder now? Okay. Well, that's right, because we have a gunpowder factory. Right? Yeah, no, it's really cool, Potato. Um, it's cool that there's something at the end of the line. <laughs> um, these kinds of things are the things that are going to take a while to show off on the walkthrough if, if I've got to be taking rail lines. Um, the thing is, like, I might just show off the town, and then I wonder if we want to do anything like that, maybe it's, like, by request, and I should just teleport there, which means I should probably have, a, like, a region teleportation point set for those. Um, yeah. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, Appa. Yeah. Here, I'm hovering over the timeout button again, just so you know. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just, um, we could do teleport to coordinates. It'd be easier to set up a point ahead of time so I can just go, like, region teleport flower factory or something. Um, but we'll probably want to do a day where we discuss what those places would be. I mean, on the other hand, it's like, it's fun to travel out here and just see the sort of breadth of the server. So, um, I, uh, I don't know. It didn't take that long. The thing that will probably, hmm, yeah, I don't know. It might end up having to be two streams, we'll see. We will see, it is a lot. I'll structure it such that we can have a nice, even, even uh, divide. Yeah, Aqua, it might end up being that. That's My thought was to cover off on the, the town stuff first, and then um, everything else second. But even then, I don't know that we'll hit everything. We'll see. I don't know what those buttons do. Oh. I think I ended up in the station that isn't a station anymore. Uh, yeah. Yeah, those buttons don't have labels on them. And that's... Uh... Alright, this is Central Station, alright. There's a hundred things on the list, oh god. 
I mean, again, like 100 things times, you know, two minutes per thing, not terrible. It's just I'm going to have to have like really good, whoops. I'm going to have to, um, I'm just going to be very disciplined about not spending too much time on each thing. I mean, most things don't require like 10 minutes, but... Mini town. What? What's what's mini town? A mini town of mole people. <laughs> I, how would you make it small? I guess you could make it like a house would just be like a block or something. You'll see. Don't worry. Okay, sure. Um, Cord had me add some music to the uh, community center. I guess that's that. Unless there's anything else anybody else uh, wants to uh, point out. The um, I wonder if there should be some lighting on the observatory, or if it should just be totally uh, dark. Let's see what it looks like at night. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it blends into the sky at night. Maybe just like some, like little, I don't know, should it be dark? Yeah, I mean in real life it would pr be pretty dark. I mean they, probably in real life there would be like a, you know, like a, a red uh, blinking light on top so that planes can avoid it, but, um, so maybe that, you know, but, uh. What the hell? Oh, they're back? Weird. I don't I don't hear the screeching. Huh. Oh, you fixed the phantoms. <laughs> okay. Weird. They're not screeching though. Oh, because I have mob uh hostile creature sounds off. Um, yeah, I got tired of hearing zombies groaning while I was building the Zelda dungeon. Um, I'll probably just leave them off. I don't really like the sounds. God, Newtown looks so impressive uh, now, and what's interesting about it is it feels very moody at night. <laughs> I mean, it's not, um, maybe I should light the, uh, City Hall a little bit better. I feel like maybe City Hall could use some lighting. The big obelisk here also is so dark that it, it definitely, uh, contributes to that effect. But yeah, City Hall's actually fairly dark. I'd have to add exterior lights. They'd have to be like on the ground or something. Um, wait, what? You defaced City Hall Sunlust? In what way? Oh. Have you seen this chicken, Flappy? Missing July 2020. 
age one using age regression software context must. <laughs> That's that's that that kind of defacement is fine. I thought you meant like you you ruined something. <laughs> yeah, potato. That's what I'm saying. I need to probably do a lighting pass on uh, on City Hall. I actually think some lights in between these columns would probably be um, would probably be nice. The jazz club needs lights? Does it, Kevin? I feel like it's actually pretty l well lit. I don't, I don't know what you mean. I'm going to go to the nether. Oh, I'll do that later, Sunlust. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Light City Hall on stream here. Kevin's cursed crowns, heavy as the head, etc., etc. Very limited stock at yours before they are gone. Oh. <laughs> why would I? Uh, why would I want to put on a cursed crown? <laughs> I feel like you tricked me into this once. Fool me once, uh, Kevin. <laughs> I like how uh, you're really just trying to sell this. You're just. <laughs> I feel like I'm being, um, you know, uh, intimidated here into buying something. I don't want. Exactly, Twist, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not doing that again. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I, you, you fooled me once. I'm not, I'm not falling for it. Goodbye. Speaking of which, um, I'm going to call it for this stream. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do in the afternoon. I don't know. It's going to be whatever I feel like, I think. Um, uh, oh, and I was going to stream Michael's pick, but um, I asked Michael in the chat whether this morning would work, and they never got back to me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move that to, like, Monday at the earliest. Um, yeah, Potato, I, I put a short hike there, but I, I, I asked Michael... Uh, like a day and a half ago, whether that would work, and I think they're just busy and haven't noticed it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wait um, until they're around for it. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will stream a movie on the Discord at four. Maybe I will play a video game. I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I'm kind of undecided. I can't I can't decide what I feel like doing. But um, stream a Bennett Foddy game. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, but until then, I will see you all later, Mothman. <laughs> oh, man, Twist. I would keep you up too late if it was 4 o'clock for a Mothman stream. That would be, that would be rude to you. Um, Nick's inventory tidying hour? Oh, boy. Maybe Gun Souls. It's probably likely. I don't know if I feel like watching a movie. Um, the thing about my my uh, what I want to do with a movie stream is basically just like watch a movie when I would normally drink and watch a movie, but most people are asleep and or just like not checking Discord at that time. So I don't really know how to reconcile that. Um, <clears throat> 10 p.m. Pacific time is a tough slot. It's a tough time slot for the national audience. Um, anyway, I will uh, I'll see you all later, maybe, hopefully. Um, if not, have a great weekend. And uh, try, to, try to relax, try to, uh, you know, have a nice, uh, nice couple of days. Um, you know, get some fresh air if you can. If not, play a video game. Play StarCraft. So, oh, 
the uh, multiplayer thing. Um, I'm I'm calling it for StarCraft Two uh, tomorrow at one. And what my thought is is uh, if we can even get like four or five people to play free for all, um, that would be fun. And uh, especially if some people didn't know how to play, I think it would be really, really kind of fun to watch people just freak out and chat. Uh, StarCraft 2 is free. Download it now um, if you want to uh, take part. Um, I think uh, only a few big babies are, are interested, so I think we're going to need some babies. Um, and uh, uh, Brian, I'm just going to, I got to go eat lunch and stuff, so I'm, this, is, this is that, you know end of this block um but uh i've got everything else on the calendar now so um anyway yeah we're gonna do some starcraft 2 free-for-alls and then if we feel like it if there are enough people who are around etc we can switch into team fortress 2 but um otherwise i think i'm happy to just do a few rounds of starcraft and then uh call it a successful stream we'll see Anyway, um, Age of Empires 2 costs money though, Elvac. The nice thing about StarCraft 2 is that it's free. Also, it's better than Age of Empires. So, um, anyway, uh, Rise of Nations is quite good, but also not free. So, yeah, have a good weekend, everyone. Um, I'll be back at 4 or 4.30 ish, maybe 5 with something, probably. Um, but uh, in the meantime, take it easy, and I will see you later. Wash your hands. Goodbye.